Nigerians, Tunubu will not die. He will be alive to witness his swearing in. Be rest assured. Permit Ayodele one. Well, um, that has always been the prayer of every good heart. It's only a bad mind that will say that he wants um yeah he wants his opponent to die or his enemy to die um you see the bible itself have also said it that pray that your enemies live to see you prosper because it is when the your enemies live and see you prosper that there will be so much you know beating and they will single handedly die gradually gradually by themselves do you understand without you even committing sin because with you not seeing it in your mind that you want this person to die you have actually committed a sin do you understand and that should not even be welcomed in any way all right be that as it may i will say that um uh this is uh, actually a fact that should also be uh, be be uh, be reasoned and uh, put into consideration, okay? Or should not even be overlooked. You understand? Let's quickly listen to what Primate Elijah Hayodele has got to say this morning. This is morning news. Primate. Elijah Ayodele, the head of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, IESC, is rumored to have revealed a brand new prophecy in a recent video that he posted on his verified TikTok account. He claimed that the Labour Party LP, the All Progressive Congress APC, and the People Democratic Party PDP would all likely encounter challenges and difficulties according to his word. There will be challenges and internal conflicts for the Labour Party. The All Progressive Congress and the People Democratic Party, ICPDP, APC and LP, Realing. I don't think Obi will succeed in proving that this election was fraudulent. He continued, there may be rumors from various sources that Bola Tunubu, the president-elect, may die before the day of the swearing-in. But I'm here to assure you all that Asiwaju Bola Tunubu will not pass away before the swearing-in, May 29. I am not seeing such a thing happening. God didn't reveal that to me. Let's pray for the safety of a former vice president and first lady in Nigeria. A current vice president and the wife of the current president should also be spared death. So let's pray for them in Africa. Primate Elijah Ayodele has um, been, you know, emphasizing. You know, he has been emphasizing. He has beaten on this very uh, prophecy. Let us pray for the vice president of Nigerian for the wife of the vice president <laughs> but oh my god see let me tell you when men of God give prophecies of this such let us not overlook it let us hold it with two hands and hmm, walk on it I want to concur with what primate Elijah Ayodele have just said because the word of God is here and amen. You don't overlook the word of God. When a warning is given, walk on that. As you have said, let's pray. It means that a solution has been found. It means that the plan of the enemy for that very person has failed. When a prophecy of this sort comes, don't take it to be something that is bad. Know it that a solution has come. That is why God made it possible for that very prophecy to be revealed to you. So why don't you just make get hold of that very thing? 
work on it and see how helpful it can be to you. Abba, my people, show not all you tell the talk. This is a reality that all of us need to look into and be very sure of. All right, don't forget, let's give you uh, let's key you in into the matter. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.